what's happening, team? Hi, I'm Charlotte, and this is Jared, and this is Potato. Darth Tater. This is Darth Tater. Say hi, Darth. Hello. And we're gonna be laughing at a few very popular news websites for publishing a story about a 68-year-old Florida millionaire and his apparent 24-year-old granddaughter who he might have married. <laughs> Why is this something to laugh at? Because the story was made up, and it has since gone viral, with the likes of Yahoo, Elite Daily, The Hollywood Gossip reporting the story to be true even though it was all made up. <laughs> a website and news outlet titled The Florida Sun Post were the first ones to break the story. It's pretty strange that this website was created on September 29th of 2016. I'm sure it's legit though, which is why the New York Post also covered this story. Okay, so the story that broke was that a 68-year-old millionaire had married his 24-year-old granddaughter, who was a single mother and an exotic dancer. The original article reads, the 24 year old woman ended up moving to Jacksonville, where she found work as an exotic dancer. Mm. She was kicked out of her house by her father, who she no longer speaks to, after getting pregnant in high school. Then they quoted said 24 year old to say, I'm not proud of working there, but I did what I had to do to raise my child as a single mom. The article then goes on to say that she signed up for a dating agency in hopes to be financially stable so she could support her child. The man apparently didn't have all that much to his name, but he won the Powerball back in 2011, and that's when he decided to live it up. After years of living the good life, he realized he was lonely, and he too signed up with this dating agency. The two matched and got married. Oh, sounds just almost too good to be true. <laughs> married, because again, none of this actually happened. It was all made up. But for the sake of the story, how did they find out they're related? Well, after being married for about three months, they were going through a photo album, and that's when the newlywed spotted the 24-year-old's dad, who's also the 68-year-old son. Wait, wasn't anyone from their family invited to the wedding, though? Like, because then wouldn't someone put two and two together? Well, so the article actually mentions that, I quote, the man had become estranged from the children of his first marriage after his spouse left him, taking the children away and moving to an undisclosed location. Look, the article itself was written well and honestly would have probably Fooled me, I but think I saw that. I remember seeing it actually. But again, I mean, we you know we work as journalists. Like you're supposed to fact check and not just trust the news of one website. Like that's mm. kind of the whole idea behind this. Mm. So I mean, some people might be losing their jobs. Ooh. Won't be us though. No. <laughs> Either way, it gave us a good laugh, and now I think it's safe to say we're the king of all news. But moving on, we're gonna read some of your comments now. So in a video we did titled Bigfoot Captured on Hidden Camera and Clearest Ever Footage, you guys left a ton of comments. Somebody's hero said they should just make out already. You and Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, you guys should make out. <laughs> I'd like that. I will say it was like it was nice to get a change of, you know, you and Charlotte, because people always think that we're dating, even yeah. though we're not. Mm -hmm. But again, me and me and Charlie, there's no, nothing happening there, guys. Sorry. All right, next comment comes from Bonnet Grace. They said, yeah, sure, I believe in a Bigfoot. My dad has big feet. So we just asked our viewers like, if they believe in Bigfoot. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Uh, I don't know. Sure. I don't know. Chris Ramirez said, Jared, can I use you as a mop? <laughs> I don't know what kind of question that is. I don't know if you're saying. <laughs> Chris! <laughs> I think you're saying that because like, I have long hair that might look like a mop. Like, maybe if I. I think my hair looks more like a mop than yeah, yours. Yeah, but like, does it look like a mop like this? Or like, if it's like around the whole, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty moppy. Like, I don't know. To answer your question, Chris, no, you can't. I can. Okay, guys, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. I we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.